Hi Sagittarius, it's Pamela and Lightail coming at you with a reading. This is going to be a reading for you, Sagittarius, for singles. And it's possible, you know, it could turn into a love reading. Let's just see what happens. But I pulled your oracle cards and uh, these cards, you have uh, a few cards here. And I feel like, you know, you have this turning in card. The turning in card is, yeah, it's not when you're going to bed at night and some people say I'm going to turn in. No, it's not that at all. It is like tuning into your intuition and... Uh, connecting to source, right? And the lady's doing it here. And then you have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. It's the same energy here. It's really like uh, kind of, it's, but it has to do with a vision, right? They're showing uh, on the angel, Archangel Metatron, that's his name. <laughs> but, you know, this is all about your vision, your clarity of vision. You have some really clarity of vision here. Maybe you are uh, tuning into it right now. Uh, that could be it, it as well. This is about your vision and your clarity about what you want to do here, right? Yeah, what you want to do on this earth. You have the card of service. Uh, maybe there's some type of service that is attached to it. I mean, service can be a few things. You could be out getting, uh, you know, signatures on a petition. That can be service, right? Like a kind of like a civic duty kind of service. It just depends. And you also have this fragmented energy card, right? Kind of scattered energy. Maybe you have scattered energy about your vision here, your clarity. This is saying, you know, that you have the clarity, but you know, you could be maybe just trying to tune into it. Right here is tur is turning in. It's the same thing. It's right next to this card. I feel like you are right now. You are kind of tuning into like what you want to create in your life, right? Maybe you're at a little bit of a midlife crisis or something like that. You could be 25 doing this, right? That's not a midlife crisis, but you guys know what I mean, right? You could be kind of at a crossroads about something. And this could be somebody else's energy because that's kind of just what I'm picking up here. Some of it, like this fragmented energy. Maybe this is not you. And maybe the eel card, too, showing up. The eel card is about dishonesty, yeah. And it can be about electricity, right? And we know that kind of, you know, when you connect to source, there is some, uh, it's kind of, this, it's electric, yeah, but it could be somebody uh, dishonest here. Let's see, let's get into the reading to find out. The heart of the matter for you, Sagittarius, is the page of pentacles. Mm-hmm. And crossing you, <clears throat> excuse me, is the Knight of Cups. And let's see the energies that are coming into play. Let's have a look at those for Sagittarius. And they are the Six of Cups. Okay, somebody's coming. Somebody here is from the past. Mm -hmm. You could be trying to get clarity here about somebody who has been dishonest. You could. Right? Because we have to play the cards off of the reading. We can't, yeah, we don't just play the cards off, you know, of, you know, we do. We have to kind of, you know, work them into the reading here. I feel like somebody's, somebody from the past is coming back and they were dishonest. Yeah, I feel like that's the case. Your highest expectations is the Six of Swords. Okay? The Six of Swords is interesting. You could be uh, leaving. Somebody could be leaving. But this could also be sometimes leaving the turmoil behind. Like, it's just a mental leaving, not a physical leaving, right? Those are swords, and they are all about the mental energy, yes. And so let's see, energies that are leaving you is the Six of Pentacles. Energies coming towards you soon, High Priestess reversed. How other people are affecting you is the Seven of Swords. See, this is sneaky energy right here. Mm -hmm. I don't see this is not you. That's what I was saying here with this eel, this dishonesty. I said that at the beginning because I was not picking that up. And how you are affecting other people is the Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. You could have made somebody make a really hard choice here. Or I feel like there, this has to do with... Somebody's coming back here. I feel like they could be leaving another situation. Yeah, I feel like that's what's going on here. And the King of Cups is your hopes and fears. Your outcome will be in the other reading. Yeah, the Extended. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles is the heart of the matter. Crossing you or influencing that is the Knight of Cups. I feel like this is a love offer and a new start. King of Swords is the heart of the matter. Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. This is the heart of the matter for you. I feel like you don't know if somebody made a decision here. I, yeah, I feel like this reading is already about three people. I feel like it is. 
not maybe not for all of you, but um, but somebody's returning. Somebody's coming back from the past. Six of Cups in this right here. And let's see what's crossing you or influencing you is the Knight of Cups. I feel like somebody's coming back, coming back from the past, but you didn't know. You didn't know if they were. Like you were like kind of analyzing, and you know, you didn't know if they were. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is that this is kind of this fragmented energy for you, kind of like, you know, kind of separated. Like, well, they might come back, they might not, something like that. Knight of Wands, uh, Knight of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is you, and the Queen of Cups. So this is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in your reading, no doubt, right? Maybe it's Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra with the King of Swords. But the king of cups is in your hopes and fears. So, and here's the high priestess. So, for sure, there's a water sign in this reading on some, in some way. This could be your person. This could be your person who's coming back. Mm -hmm. uh, this could be, I feel like somebody was dishonest here. Yes, yeah, so this is how other people are affecting you. The seven of swords. And let's see. Uh, energies that are coming into play, Six of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Justice card. Okay, well, Justice card could be Libra. I feel like somebody's coming from the back to bring, coming back from the past to bring you your justice. Mm-hmm. I feel like in the past, they were, they did something. They were sneaky or unfair or married or something. Or in a relationship. And let's see your highest expectations, Six of Swords, Sagittarius. Six of Swords, Five of Cups. Okay, so this is not really telling yet. This is kind of like part of a picture here. Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, your highest expectations is like leaving a situation, maybe leaving the turmoil behind about a sad ending and a new beginning. This person, Six of Cups person from the past, could be leaving another situation. I said that earlier. I feel like that's it. I feel like here you didn't know uh, if, they were, if you were going to have a new start with them in the heart of the matter. I feel like you still don't know. I feel like you don't know entirely, but I feel like you're tuning into your intuition here. Turning in and the sixth chakra, right? Archangel Metatron. This is your clarity and vision. I feel like you are using your clarity and like you're using your intuition to like, you know, look deeper. For some of you, you could be going to bed at night going, like, focusing on this. I wonder if they're coming back. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you tell yourself to dream about something and you're kind of in a calm spot in your life, right? You have to be calm. You can't be, you know, coming from a job you can't stand or, you know, you live in a place you don't like. You can't be stressed out. All right? You can't be. You have to be, in, in order to turn in here like the woman is doing, she's meditating. Maybe you're meditating. Maybe you're doing it when you're working out, something like that. Work, workout is a, med is a meditation. Not the workout where you go to the gym and, you know, there's somebody standing by you and, you know, she's doing her squats and her, you know, her, her rear end is right by your face. That's not meditation, all right? Yeah. I've went to gyms like that. <laughs> right? And there's people, like, they're jumping their foots almost in your face in the aerobic class and you're like, well... Maybe I should learn how to work out alone because this is not for me, okay? Mm -hmm. That's not meditating, right? So let's see, Sagittarius. Uh, let's look at energies that are leaving you. Seven of Wands. I feel like you are no longer concerned about a third party here. I have to say that because... There's, you know, I feel like there is a third party on some level or somebody leaving somebody to be with you. That is a third party. I feel like you're no longer, uh, this could be somebody else's energy though. It could because there's uh, other people in this reading. There is. And, you know, 
but this card here, Seven of Wands, Six of Pentacles, energy is leaving you. I feel like you're no longer overwhelmed about some third party situation. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, and if this person's coming back to you, they are no, maybe, maybe no longer overwhelmed about a third party. Because as I said, I feel like somebody's coming back from the past right here with this card and uh, bringing you justice. Mm -hmm. And they could be this Queen of Cups. They could be this King of Swords. Let's see the energies that are coming soon. Coming soon to a theater of uh, Sagittarius here, right? There's no more theaters. They, you know, uh, they took them down. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> at least here. High Priestess and Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Not literally, you guys. They didn't take them down literally, but uh, in every other way. Okay. High Priestess reversed Nine of Wands. So this is what, you know, this is the energies that are coming towards you, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is somebody else. Somebody who could have been dealing, this person from the past could have been dealing with a water sign, or they are a water sign. I feel like they're showing up as the wounded warrior, like, oh shit, I wonder what's going to happen next. Like, I hope it goes well. The, the wounded warrior person is, that's kind of a, I don't really like that word, but this person, that term, this person has been embattled. Maybe it's you. You could be, this energy, you could, this could be you. Like, I wonder how this is going to turn out with this person. Like, they were already sneaky. I feel like they were. Seven of Swords. This is how they're affecting you. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you could be like, oh, well, uh, you know, they've been sneaky in the past. So this, the Nine of Wands is the energy about what's going to happen next. I've already got a, a, a bandage here, right? Mm-hmm. I'm holding my wand. Page of Swords. Yeah, this is energy coming towards you. You're all in your head about this. I wonder how this is going to work out. There could have been a Piscean or a Scorpio here that's involved. That could be your person or that could be somebody that your person who is coming back from the past is walking away from. And the energy, how other people are affecting you is the Seven of Swords and the Four of Wands. If you can see these cards, guys, if you, you know, can look at the phone or, you know, the computer or whatever you're watching this on, I feel like they're escaping from another union. And that's what this man is doing. He's escaping, right? He's escaping, you know, his legs are going one way and his head's turning back and he's thinking he's leaving with somebody. I mean, with something, with these swords, right? It could be stealing thoughts. It could be creating, you know, with stealing the swords. It could be, you know, lies, right? Taking, But he's looking back like escaping. This card can be very much of an escape card, and the Four of Wands, I feel like this person who is, how they're affecting you is they're escaping from another union. Yes, they are. I feel like it is them who's showing up with fragmented energy. I don't think that's you. And I was saying that earlier. I don't, I don't think that's you. No. <clears throat> And the Seven of Cups is showing up. And this is with the Queen of Wands. This is you, Sagittarius, right? This, this person could be coming back to you because, you know, they could feel like this, this energy between you guys is electric, right? The eel is electric. Like there's, like there's, uh, there's energy between you guys, like, you know, supernatural energy, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you guys are, like, uh, kind of soulmates, right, from the ethers. Maybe a past life situation. But they feel, I feel like that's what this is. That's why this person's coming. They feel like there's, there, it's electric between you guys. They can feel there's this energy between you guys, this kind of, uh, I get you, I, like we're, we're, we're soulmates here. We're from the same planet, yeah, something like that. I feel like this person feels that energy between you guys. Higher, a higher consciousness, like this, uh, like you guys connect to each other's source. So 
So how you are affecting the situation here. I feel like you're making, you have made them made a really hard choice. Seven of Cups about their relationship or their marriage. Yeah, Sagittarius, that's what's shaking in this reading. You made somebody leave their wife or their husband or their, you know, live-in or their, you know, or their partner. You did. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, be careful. <laughs> Uh, okay, just send love out to the universe, to Sagittarius, because, you know, I feel like everything's okay, but, you know, it's like, uh, you know, my mom used to always say, you know, you never find, you never find sorrow in some, you never find joy in someone else's sorrow, and what she meant by that is, like, don't take anybody's husband away, right? She probably thought I was, you know, she probably thought, wow, look at my little daughter here, look at her, she's a badass, <laughs> <laughs> she might be, you know, she might be challenging people's uh, husbands or something like that. Women's husbands. No, I'm not. I'm just that. Strike that part, right? Uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, having fun here. But, you know, she used to say that because, you know, don't get involved with married men, right? Because you don't find joy in someone else's sorrow. I feel like she was saying that kind of on a general level, though, because uh, although I don't condone taking away somebody's husband, Sometimes there's sometimes uh, there's an electricity here, right? And this person, you know, they could have went with somebody else and figured out that you are like the, you're the one that they need. You're the one that they're supposed to be with, like their soulmate. You are, you know, the eternal flame for them. And I feel like that's what this reading is about. So we're going to find out all about your person in the extended, yeah. And I feel like it's going to show up with, you know, hearts and flowers and uh, new aces and all this kind of stuff that they want with you because this person is leaving somebody how they're escaping from their from their relationship to be with you Sagittarius all right mm-hmm and the king of cups is their hopes or fears yeah I mean is I beg your pardon the king of cups is how you are uh yeah is your hopes and fears okay I had it partially right here Two of Cups. Yeah, you really love this person, see? And that's it. And they love you too. Nobody's walking away from somebody else to be with somebody that is not uh, their best choice. It doesn't work unless you're dealing with somebody who is, you know, a complete mess about their life and they don't know what they want and things like that. And those people do exist. Yes, they do. They spend the rest of their life like in a confused state. But this is not that. And uh, the Five of Swords... Uh, you're fearing, you, know, you could be fearing maybe some type of chaos and conflict attached to it. I feel like that's true. Uh, but, you know, and you could really kind of be hoping that they're going to sabotage their own union. Because, you know, I'm not saying that as any digs to you guys, Sagittarius, because, you know, um, people kind of get me wrong sometimes in readings. Yeah, I'm a Sag, and we're, we're highly misunderstood, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we are. It even says that, like, in astrology. But, you know, this, your energy here uh, coming into the reading was, I'm not really sure here, right? Like, to, I'm not really sure if I'm going to have a new start with them, Page of Pentacles. Like, maybe if they made the decision to have a new start with me. Yeah, you are, like, you're reading their energy and they're reading yours. I feel like that's it. Yeah, this is really interesting. They could have had dreams about you and you about them. We're going to end the reading there. They're all super affordable, Sagittarius. If you want to really find out how this person feels... And how they're seeing the situation. And we're going to see your outcome as well. And what's challenging them. We can't see that here so much. Their desires, their fears, and what they're hiding or what's unknown. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.